Good afternoon and welcome to the fifth in our first semester series on physics lab prax. As before, we'll be collecting some data. Not very complicated part of the process, this should happen quite quickly. We have a spring, some mass pieces, and the idea is that you set the mass piece oscillating, small oscillations, and then you start and stop the timer after 20 oscillations. So what you're going to record for six combinations, you're going to record the total oscillating mass as well as the time that it took for 20 oscillations. Now remember that the oscillating mass is not just the mass you attach but also part of the spring. So have a look in the instructions how to deal with that and in order to find the mass of the spring of course you're also going to have to record that using a triple beam balance like this. Once you have the data you're going to do some calculations in a table like this. You'll do this at your work desk just on the hand calculator. You'll calculate the mass and the uncertainty of mass in each case. Remember that this is a combination of masses so you'll need to do a combination of uncertainties. The same way you're going to calculate the period from dividing by 20 and then you'll need to determine the uncertainty in the period from whatever you took there. Remember this is a type B analysis of uncertainty and you do not need to take the rating of the instrument into account, only the uncertainty in the reading. Once again, once you have this, you're going to calculate period square and the uncertainty in the period square. This is for the linearization process. Once you've completed this tabulation, you're ready to go to the computers and there you will only be using one program, linear fit. What you'll be doing is plotting the six values that you've calculated out here, but this time you'll be including what are known as weightings or otherwise known as error bars. So the graph should look like this. You'll see that linear fit automatically fits a straight line to the data and you're going to use the gradient and the uncertainty in the gradient to calculate k, the spring constant, and of course the uncertainty in the spring constant. An important part of the work is that you should include an uncertainty budget. And remember that in this case you did do a type A as well as a type B uncertainty in the analysis and make sure that comes out clearly in your uncertainty budget. Thank you.